So my car camping platform that I've built, officially gone. I've ditched it. You heard me right. The car camping platform that I invested a lot of time, sweat, and energy into building, the car camping platform that got me started with all of my adventuring here in Utah, took me on all sorts of different trips that I absolutely loved. I've gotten rid of it. We have transitioned to a no build setup that I prefer so much more. I still go car camping all the time and this is just a lot simpler. Here's why I think that. As you can see right here, we've been trying out this new setup the whole season. No platform anymore. And there are definitely things I miss about it, but I'm gonna to talk to you about why I switched in this video. The number one reason why I wanted to get rid of the car camping platform was just space. While we had plenty of space to sleep, it was really hard to sit up in the middle of the night if you needed to change a shirt or whatever. A platform about here cuts off so much room that you have. Let me just show you. So now if I'm sleeping in here, I can't sit up fully, but I can sit up a lot more than I could before. It's much more comfortable, plenty of room um, when this bed's actually here. The other main reason why I decided to get rid of the car camping platform was weight. That thing was heavy. It was built with plywood and I tried to save weight where I could, but it was pretty hard to take in and out of the car as needed. It was foldable so it could store all in the trunk should I ever need it to, but now without the platform back here, I have so much more space to store things when I'm just using my car normally. So you might be wondering where the heck do I store everything now that I don't have the platform in here anymore because that was one of the main benefits of it. I had built a drawer on the one side of it that could pull out and it would hold all of my kitchen gear. And then I also just had storage and a tote underneath here well, I still bring that tote along with me whenever I camp. It just moves freely now. But one thing I recently discovered and actually pushed me over the edge to make the switch to a no build setup is that I have tons of room underneath here, this little platform in the back of my Tucson, which is where the spare tire goes. So I fit all of my pots, pans, my stove goes back in here too. It's pretty crazy. I have extra coats and stuff. There's way more room under here than I actually realized at first. So should I ever need any of my cooking equipment, I just open up this little latch after lifting the mattress up and I have access to all of my gear that way when not sacrificing all of the space that I originally had to give up for the platform. It definitely also helps that I have a roof box now too. That thing has been awesome. Not necessary, we could still put all of our gear here when just Alicia and I are going camping. Even with three people, we could fit all of our gear easily without the roof box but it is nice to be able to throw stuff up top too and be able to access it without needing to fill up our sleeping space when we're car camping. There is also still storage behind the front seats underneath the platform being held up by this pet hammock. So you can see I got my bag of clothes right there and there's other room for hiking bags or whatever I usually will throw back here. I utilize the door space as well. Got sunscreen, bug spray, usually keep my headlamps here. So honestly, we've been doing this new setup throughout all of the 2024 camping season and it's worked great. It's so much easier to set up where we don't have to fiddle with the whole platform and put it together. I did love that thing. It got me started in camping. It was a fun build and process to go through. Gave me the confidence to go out and try a bunch of different spots knowing I had a nice solid platform. But now that I've discovered this solution, I don't think I'm gonna go back. It just works so much easier. There's no hassle in us going out to go in on ventures. We have the space we need. We still have the storage we need. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to put them in the comments. I'll try to address all of them if I can, but I hope you'll find this helpful. Maybe you're gonna incorporate it into your own setup and take it out on those adventures that you're planning to do. Thank you for stopping by the channel. I appreciate you watching as always. I'll see you in the next one.